Here's a question I received. The individual has a house with two gable ends, a valley and a hip, some type of a roof design like this. And they were thinking about installing a room addition, but having a difficult time trying to figure out how to build the roof. So I went ahead and uh, drew up a few things. So this is basically just stripping the roof shingles off and exposing the two walls so that you can build the room addition. Now here's one roof you can do. This is actually would be a double gable. You would have two gable roofs here and it would go back with a valley and a valley here and of course you could change the pitch of the roof to adapt to the ridge. It's not uncommon to have a to, to install a, to build a room addition where you might have a little wider um, area here which of course would raise the pitch of the roof if you use the same pitch here. So if you used a 5 and 12 for example it might raise the pitch um, might raise the ridge of the roof up about uh, a foot or two, let's say, and you might not li like that. So you could always change the pitch and make it a little lower if it would work in a situation like this so that it's not sticking up past the ridge. Now we have a cricket here. We call them crickets. You might call them something else. This is actually another part of the roof you would build after this is done to allow the water um, that would be coming off of both of these roofs to drain off of the roof. So uh, any water, if without this, you could just imagine all the water would pool up here and uh, that would be a problem. And of course, there are other ways. Um, I actually uh, lived in a house where both of the gables came down like this and they just had a she piece of sheet metal that was about three foot wide and uh, they kind of formed it into this area and uh, that drained the water off. So there are other options for that also. This would be the cheapest uh, roof, I would imagine. This would be a low sloping roof. You could uh, just keep the pitch uh, small enough to where you can get the water to drain off. And again, this isn't going to be a square roof. It would be square on this side, but these two lines wouldn't be parallel. You, you would have a sloping um, a sloping section of the roof here. I hate to call it a valley, but I guess that's actually what it would be to drain the water off. Here's a little more complicated version. We have a double gable. You would simply come up and down and then create another gable over here and then you can see the valley on this side and a little uh, gable end on this side uh, sticking up. Now you can always get rid of this gable end. You can run this hip all the way up and then run it down on the other side and then in, in other words continue this plane all the way up and then you would basically have a hip that would run all the way up to here and a little hip that would run down to here um, as another way of, of uh, fixing that and again you could always lower the slope on the other side um, uh, if you could you know this this right here might create a problem if you change the change the um, roof pitch, but uh, you could always stop it right here. Maybe that's a possibility. There's that one. Next up on the list would be to create a gable with uh, a pitch that would be different. So you would have a, let's just say a 5 and 12 on this side, run it up to, to here and then run it down and create um, a different a different pitch uh, or a section I should say a different gable side here so you might have a 5 and 12 slope here and a 3 and 12 slope on this side this is called an offset roof pitch and is also another common way to uh, solve problems that are that you're having a difficult time trying to figure out. Last but not least on our list we would have a roof like this. This would simply just fill in the area here with a roof rafter that would come up to here and again this would probably be an inexpensive way to um, build a roof like this and then of course you would have a valley down here. Anyway I hope it helps. If it does don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button and tell everyone you know about our channel. 
it's uh, growing uh, like gangbusters. Um, I've actually just surpassed 1 million minutes in the past 28 days just with this one particular channel. So uh, I'm going to have to pat myself on the back, back there. So thanks for watching and uh, your thumbs up. Remember, they are greatly appreciated.